a tidal wave approaching in on the news. This news is so bad and so good. The bad news is that everything we know as familiar, dependable, and structurally sound is being wiped away by a collective momentum that is inexorable. The good news is that we can take it and that when we do, this makes way for a return to primal realities long lost and forgotten. Our part in all this is to carry it, to bear it. We must spread the word wherever we go. We can't hang on to anything of an outer kind any longer. You can find your way to a deeper center of renewal as soon as you let go of the false hope that we can be bailed out by cleverness and ingenuity. However, we probably will not be convinced that it has come to this until we have personally exhausted all our attempts to fill in the blank, to escape, and to get off the hook. These feverish, last-minute efforts to plug in something smooth and easy and familiar are doomed. But we still got to try them on for size. We can't skip any step. We can't jump ahead and know the outcome. We have to show up for the rough process of working it all out. Anything we fall for, any place to hide in, will find us until we get it. When we're clear of this frequency, we convey to those around us that every part of the process is vital and ordinary, li ordinary life cannot be violated by apocalyptic concerns. We convey to those around us that every part of the process is vital and ordinary life cannot be violated by apocalyptic concerns. In effect, no matter how urgent and critical the hour, Earth School requires that we move with every part of the human drama, including our mental attempts to push it all away and try to return to normal. However, in the ultimate reckoning, when we mobilize to meet what's here on the great collective wave, we will find that we know just what to do. And we were always waiting for this moment to push us over 